A new report says a day after the 11 anti-abortion Democrats led by Congressman Bart Stupak decided to vote for the health care bill, they asked for more than $3.4 billion in earmarks for 2010. Fox News' Molly Henneberg joining us now with the story. So, Molly, it's the Sunlight Foundation. That's the group that looked into this. Are they suggesting it was a quid pro quo that these requests are tied to the lawmakers' vote on the bill? Hi, David. Hi, Liz. Well, lawmakers can ask for the sun, moon, and stars, but the Sunlight Foundation, a nonpartisan, nonprofit government watchdog group, wants to know if they'll get it. And the group took a look at earmark requests put in by Democratic Congressman Bart Stupak and 10 other pro-life Democrats who ended up voting for the bill. The requ requests put in the day after the vote, as was required, total $3.4 billion for all 11 lawmakers. And the Sunlight Foundation wants to track these requests to see if the lawmakers were rewarded for their yes votes. Here's more. We know that, you know, when, in Congress, that one of the ways that leadership does try to influence members is through earmarks. And so this is just something that seemed to us to be a good thing to follow. Allison says they'll watch the appropriations bills that come out in June or July to see how many of these earmarks are actually approved. Uh, Molly, all right, Congressman Stupak's office says there is no connection between his vote and the earmark request. What are you hearing on that end? Right, exactly. His office says the requests were put in on Monday, uh, March 22nd, the day after the health care vote, because that was the deadline set by the Appropriations Committee. And one Democratic strategist says lawmakers don't come up with earmark requests overnight. Take a listen. You don't just create these things Sunday night. It takes a while to put together the requests that you're making and, and the people back home who want them and all that stuff. So this was not something that was a quid pro quo directly. A Stupak spokesperson says the requests this year are in line with what the congressman has requested in previous years. Now, David? this is bi bipartisan, uh, just like a lot of pork on, walls, on uh, inside the Beltway. <laughs> uh, is the Sunlight Foundation going to look for GOP earmarks at all? Yes, House Republicans have said they're not requesting any earmarks for the next fiscal year. But Bill Allison says the Sunlight Foundation will be looking at GOP senators to see if they appear to be putting in earmark requests for their House colleagues. Liz and David? It's uh, a heck of a story, right, David? It sure is. Good reporting, Molly. Yeah. Thank you very much.